Oh, Sherry here, and today I'm going to do my April favorite. I'm going to start with my favorite eyeshadow palettes for the month. I've been switching between them so much, I was having a hard time picking, so I'm going to show both. I have the Naked, the original Naked, and the Lorac Pro. And these are what I've been reaching for for the month of April. I love them both. <coughs> Lots of pollen in the air. But if I had to pick one, I would say probably the Lorac Pro, just because you can make so many different looks. But I have been reaching for the Naked also. Then my bronzer is the Rimmel by London Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze. And I'm wearing it today. I just do a light bronze. I'm not doing these in any particular order. Um, I've also been reaching for the L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Texture per Perfector Pore Vanisher. And I like this. Um, I have pretty big pores. So it does fill them in. It doesn't fill the lines, but it does fill the pores. And it just makes makeup, my foundation go on so much smoother. My blush has been the Master Highlight by Maybelline in Pink Rose. And I like it just because then I don't have to use a separate highlighter um, when I'm using it. It just really will give a nice little sheen. I'm not wearing it today, of course. However, that's what I reach for for the month of April. Then my two uh, lipsticks because I'm going... I'm really into the nude lipsticks right now. So um, I like Honeyed, which is by CoverGirl. Just looks like this. And it's just a really pretty, just a real pretty nude. So I'm enjoying that very much. And then I have one of the uh, Maybelline Vivids in Vivid Rose for the day that I want to have kind of a bright pop of color on my lip. There's Vivid Rose. And staying with makeup, um, I have the Colossal Volume Maybelline. My husband purchased um, quite a few of these for me and my daughter, so I'll be using this. Uh, I don't like to have a whole lot of uh, mascaras open. I like this. It's very black. Um, if I curl my eyelashes, it does. I mean, you can see. I have it on today, and it's just, it's just for the dark. I didn't curl my eyelashes. Um, however, it does uh, give me some volume and a little bit of length, not a lot. Another item by, <clears throat> this kind of was almost Maybelline, um, is the Maybelline. I've been using uh, this in my waterline. It's called Fluffy Cloud. It's uh, Maybelline Unstoppable. And I've just been using it on the waterlines. And it stays a very long time. I'm, I'm not having to refresh it. So I like that. Then my um, <laughs> Maybelline has has been in, in my family for her, been my favorite this month, I'm going to say. I've been using the Color Tattoo in Beijing Beauty and just the Maybelline Color Tattoo. I've been using it as a base um, and it works really good with the Naked Palette and even the Rock. Just gives the eyes that little something extra. My eyeliner has been the Essence in Midnight in Paris. Sorry. And my daughter convinced me to try Essence, and I love it. It's the blackest black. I will say, though, it does... I do notice, like, it's not waterproof, so when I'm... Like, when I yawn and your eyes water, if I rub my eyes, I'll come away with it, so... It doesn't stay long, but if... If I just train myself not to touch my eyes, it'll stay in place. And my foundation this month has been the e.l.f. Moisturizing Stick in Natural. And I have really, really been enjoying this. It's a light foundation. This is natural. It's a light foundation. So it doesn't give like a full coverage. It's I would say it's a light to medium coverage. It is buildable. Um, I just like it because it just 
I don't even feel like I have anything on my face. It's not suffocating. It hasn't broken me out. I feel like it's, you know, it adds some moisture. I don't feel all dry. And I have very dry skin. Now going over to skin. And, of course, this is always a favorite. This Maybelline Clean Express um, for eye makeup remover. It takes... I drop everything. It takes everything off. And I love it. And I've also been using... I just have the Equate Healthy Reviving Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Moisturizer for under eyes. And I can't say that it's really helped. I mean, my eyes are still... Well, they're, they're moist. <laughs> There's moisture. But I wouldn't say it's gotten rid of any wrinkles. But I have reached for it all of the month of April. I'm trying to give it a fair shake and um, see what you know I can come up with and last but not least for my hair I've been using the Tresemme uh, Thermal Creations uh, heat protectant leave-in and this is one of the new bottles and <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to use it for the longest time I was like I had to wait for my daughter I'm like why won't this you know the last one had a clip that you just kind of swung it one way or the other this one has a lock you push it lock it unlock it but yeah, I use this because obviously I do color my hair and I do curl it. When I do fix my hair, I do curl it and uh, I need to be, you know, it needs to be protected because the ends are really kind of, they're kind of shot. They're kind of fuzzy a little bit. So I'm trying to get my hair in better health. But these are my favorites for April. Um, I mean, obviously I've used other products throughout the month, but these are the ones that I continually go to. So that's what I'm going to label as my favorite. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.